What's going on everyone? It's Ricky Ricky with Richter IV Marketing and Media coming back at you with another video. Today I really wanna delve into a little bit of the digital aspect of marketing. For you as a, as a business owner or an entrepreneur or somebody with a new uh, web footprint, you really need to focus on this one because this is crucial, okay? Everything these days is driven by data. And luckily, living in the digital age, data is free, essentially. Okay, back in the days, people had to pay a lot of money to uh, get this data and analyze the data, and they used to have to have different software and different databases and this and that. Nowadays, for most small entrepreneurs and small business ventures, your data is free at your fingertips. All you have to do is know how to get it. So, how do you get your data? First things first, okay? If you're online, what you need to do is you need to go to Google Analytics and you need to get the, the HTML uh, JavaScript code and put it into your website, okay? Once you put it into your website, now you can start um, analyzing the data and the metrics from your website. Keep in mind, okay, there's a lot of different things out there like IBM, um, Oracle, there's different ways to analyze data. The most simplest and user-friendly free way to get your data and start analyzing is Google Analytics, okay? And you wanna look at web traffic. You wanna look at bounce rates, conversion rates. You wanna look at all these different criteria and metrics because then you can go in and start fixing certain problems. Another important aspect of the data analysis is you can now see where the majority of your traffic is coming from. So if you set off a ad campaign, mass emails, online websites, if you put some kind of paid ad banner on YouTube or Facebook or different websites, now you can see and you can analyze where you're doing the best job and where your allocation of funds is suiting you the best. So what this does for you is now you can sit back and let's say you analyze this data for a month or so. You can say, okay, my ad that I had on uh, on auto traders not working out so well. Let's cut that tie. Let's take out that the allocation of funds for auto trader and now let's move it to YouTube because the second we launched on YouTube, we've had X amount of people, X amount of traffic, X amount of conversion. You can start seeing this stuff. So play around with Google Analytics once you get it put into your website and you can start monitoring different things. You can build a custom dashboard and make everything, make your life a lot easier, okay? The next thing is with social media. Social media does a great job at this with Facebook and Instagram. If you have business accounts and you launch um, whatever it may be, whether it's a photo, whether it is a video or etc., what happens is, is that you can then analyze all the data on that. You can see how many people are engaging with your, with your post. You can see um, the reach of your post, how many people are getting it out there. And the crucial one is how much time people are spending on your post, okay? Now, the whole click counter thing is old school analysis, which I say old school, but last year click counting was the big hurrah. These days it's called your hover time, okay? Because on Facebook and uh, Instagram in, in total, a lot of people won't click into a post, they will simply hover over it, okay? Now what you're looking for is what is that hover time? And now you see the hover time, and what does that mean to you? That means that you, your posts are engaging, that you're doing something right if the, if the hover time is longer. If they're short hover times or short click counters, okay, you need to revamp something. You need to, to put a little bit more effort into your production, or maybe if you're posting up something that you have for sale, doctor it up, send it to somebody who does digital media and they can, they can do a better job with the Photoshop or enhancing the video or photo or whatever it may be. Okay, these engagements from people and this data is crucial for your business because without individuals and without data, you have no outreach. You have nobody to push your data. So what I really want you to take away from this is that most data that is accessible to you is free. Okay, and as a small business owner or as an entrepreneur, you need to utilize this data. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what I'm here for. I'm trying to help you out. So Google Analytics, put it in, put the JavaScript into your website and start analyzing your data. See ya.